Now, the Manly Seagulls, uh, they bow out, having uh, lost over the weekend. Still a couple of games to come for them. They were fractured, Denny, with the Pride jersey saga last year. They get a new coach in Anthony Seabold, losing Turbo for a big chunk of the season. That never helps. There's been one player in particular in Josh Schuster, who's been a big point of conversation surrounding his commitment to the team, what position he is, a sizeable contract. Mm. And now there's more drama involving him. Yeah, well, look, a lot of the attention around Schuster has around, been around, first of all, his fitness uh, and, and his salary. Uh, now it's whether he's even in first grade. Now it's likely he's going to be out of first grade, potentially for the rest of the season. Uh, that's, that's the mail I've been getting. Uh, he won't, he's already been dropped. I think Anthony Seabold put him on the bench to get a response, didn't get the response. Uh, so as a result, he's going to be playing reserve grade and potentially um, that, that's it for first grade for the season, potentially. Pretty disappointing how it's, how it's all fizzled out. Like they have, I list off what, what's. Well, they, they, they showed signs. They showed some signs. I remember a game. I remember a game they played versus uh, the, the, the Melbourne Storm. The Storm, a beat rookie, them up. absolutely beat them up. And they've had glimpses of that this year because they've got a big, strong, tough forward pack. When they lost Turbo, it was always going to hurt them. I've always said about Manly, no Turbo, no chance. But they did have some pretty good forwards in that side. They did dominate sides at, at, at certain times this year, but just have not been able to do it consistently. Um, you throw on top of that the Schuster problem. I don't know what they do with him. Eight hundred thousand dollars a year until two thousand twenty-seven. I mm -hmm. mean, how someone signed that sort of contract? I mean, I always worry about a guy who's that size who is playing in the back row. Tells everyone wants to play five eight. Eventually moves to five eight. Doesn't do a hell of a lot. Then we gets moved back to the back row. Doesn't take a run in twenty minutes in a match. I think that's uh, that's a fair sign. He's, he's not fully committed to the team. So. Uh, I don't know what they do about that. That's, that's a, a big contract for a very long time. So I don't know how you get out of that one, Gus. 800 a year for the next four or five years. Mm. Next four years, yeah. It's a, mm. it's a long time. Mm. These are the things we deal with. Um, <laughs> Mate, I, it's, I, I like, it's not like, his fault. Someone like, gave him the contract. That's not so, the player's fault. Someone gave him the contract, exactly yeah, right. So, so whose fault's that? It's not the player's fault. It's not the manager's fault. It's not, yeah. Anyway. I like Manly, they're a good side uh, and they've given us some great moments during the year. I think they're a really good team. I'm a little miffed as to why they haven't accumulated enough points to still be in finals recognition, but they've played in a lot of really good games and they've put in some good performance. I think Daly Cherry Evans has been one of the players of the season. Uh, he's been monumental for them. They've got a good forward pack. Um, I really like them as a team, I really do. Um, and. I think there are better days ahead for them. It's a, a little bit of an anomaly for me that they're not higher up the ladder. Nine wins for the year. It just doesn't doesn't sound right. I think they're so. better than I think they've been better than that. Definitely. I think they've deserved better than that. Put it that way. You know, some teams, you know, like a, a Dragons. I can't understand why Dragons are where there are obviously reasons why they are where they are with their roster, but Manly have deserved better.